Hi, I'm David Harry, and in this, the 10th in the series of A Quickie with Dave, I'm going to show you how to update the firmware on your Z Cami one via the SD card. Before I get into this guide, just a quick thing, these A Quickie with Dave's are now up to number 10, which basically means it's become a thing, so from here on in, all I'll do is just call them A Quickie with Dave, it'll really help me as well, because what it is, I've been going out of sequence with them as well, so no more numbers, it's just A Quickie with Dave. So now I'm going to kick into this guide on how to update the firmware on the ZCam E1 via the SD card. So for the first part of this firmware update, we need to go and get the latest firmware from the Z camera website I will have a link in the descriptions below so you can go directly to the firmware download page but right now I'm gonna navigate to it straight from the home page of the Z camera website so what I will do I will click on support and then I will scroll down and click on firmware now this will take us to the firmware page so if we scroll down the firmware page and on the bottom right here, as far as the downloads are concerned, we need to see what it says, E1 firmware update, just like I've highlighted here. Now what we do, find the very latest one, which as of today, which is the 7th of July 2018, is version 0 0.30. So I'm going to click on download. Now that's going to take us to a Google Drive link. So then click on download again. And so what that's going to do is just go off and download in the background. So I'm now just going to fast forward through this until the download is completely down. So what we now need to do is go to the download file. Now in my instance, it is just in the downloads folder, which is where Windows would normally put any kind of download on my system. You may have downloaded it somewhere else. If that is the case, then you navigate to where it's downloaded. And we will see here a file that says e1fw.bin. Okay, now what we need to do is open up the location to where your SD card is. As we can see here, this is my E1 recording card. So all I'm going to do is simply drag the firmware.bin file over to the actual micro SD card. So what I'm doing here is I'm just copying and pasting the firmware file into the root of the card itself. So now what we've done at this point is to download the latest firmware for the Z Camera E1 and we have now copied it to our SD card which is what we are now going to use to flash and update the camera. So the first thing we need to do is to insert the SD card that we wrote the firmware onto into the E1. So there we go, that's inserted. So now the next thing to do is to plug the power supply for the E1 into it. Now at this point, I can't say for sure as to whether or not the E1 will go into a firmware update mode unless it is powered by its power supply or whether or not it needs a certain charge on the battery. But just to be safe, I've got the battery full and I've also got the power supply plugged in as well. So the next thing to do now is to switch the power on on the camera. So I've just switched on the power, give it a few seconds and then what will happen, it will come up with a message on the screen. And there we go, there is the message. So now what it's doing, it's identified that it has a firmware file in the root directory of the SD card. So what we do, use the up and down arrows to navigate, to highlight on OK, so it goes red or orange, whatever that color is, and then click the function button. Now it's saying prepare to upgrade. Okay, so what it's doing now, it's going through a reboot routine after it's done the actual install of the firmware. And so once it switches back on, what happens here is it says updating. So it's actually going and doing something in the background. And there we have it, now the screen is back on. So now what I'm gonna do is navigate to the section of the menu which tells us about the firmware. So now as we can see, we are now on version 0 0.30. So this is now this particular E1 successfully updated to the very latest firmware. So aside for the jump cuts at the very end of that guide there in order to kind of get the guide done as fast as possible, that is how you update the software on the ZCam E1 using the SD card. And if anybody's interested in any of my stuff to do with the ZCam E1, you can catch all that at www.zcame1.com. So the last thing that remains for me to say now is thank you very much for watching this video. 
Take care and goodbye now. Hi, I'm David Hardy, and in this, the 10th in the series of A Quickie With Dave, I'm going to be updating the firmware of a melon.